There's a poem by Longfellow about watching the learned astronomer uh, measuring the stars or something, and he goes out and gazes silently up at the sky. Well, when he gazes silently up at the sky, he sees these little points of light in his blackness. When a scientist gazes silently up at the sky, he sees these enormous suns and galaxies and magnetic fields and the turbulence and the heat and the cold and the molecules in between them in, in, in space and endless distances and great mysteries and you have a feeling if you're a scientist that you see a lot more and this is kind of incredible because when i'm looking at you someone standing to my left could see somebody who's standing at my right that is the light could be going right across this way the waves are going this way the waves are going this way the waves are going this way it's just a complete network so that there's this tremendous mess of waves all over in space and it's all really there that's what gets you but you gotta stop and think about it to really get the pleasure about the complexity the inconceivable <laughs> nature of nature one night I was already asleep and Richard got permission to wake me up and I can still remember him at my bed saying, Joan, I want to show you something wonderful. And uh, I got out of bed and we walked down the street to a golf course uh, and walked out in the middle of the golf course and he said, look up. And there in the sky was an aurora. And uh, he told me that it was an aurora and that nobody knew how they were formed. And uh, I've spent my scientific career studying that, and I, it was nice of him to give me the aurora and to know that I would think it was wonderful. Now I'm going to discuss how we would look for a new law. In general, we look for a new law by the following process. First, we guess it. <laughs> then we compute... Well, don't laugh. That's the really true. Then we compute the consequences of the guess to see what, if this is right, if this law that we guess is right, we see what it would imply. And then we compare those computation results to nature. Or we say compared to experiment or experience, compare it directly with observation to see if it, if it works. If it disagrees with experiment, it's wrong. In that simple statement is the key to science. It doesn't make a difference how beautiful your guess is, it doesn't make a difference how smart you are who made the guess, or what his name is. If it disagrees with experiment, it's wrong. That's all there is to it.